Hi, this is Aaron from AnythingArcos.com, and you're watching part 2 of the top 20 Android Honeycomb games. So this is Dungeon Defender's first wave. You can either play single player or multiplayer. I'll go single player. There are four different kinds of characters. There's the knight, the sorcerer, the huntress, and the monk. I chose the knight. So this is the tavern, it's like the lobby kind of. To start a mission you click that and then you choose what difficulty you want and what map. To unlock a new map you have to beat the map before it. So I'll just start. So this game is like a cross between a tower defense game and a third person uh, fighting game because you can build towers and you can fight them the enemies by yourself at the start of each level there are these boxes and you can get mana from them to build a tower you need mana so it's good to collect the boxes before you start a wave there's also a mini map to see where all the boxes are or the enemies if there are enemies just get this box and then build some towers. The graphics graphics in this game are really good. Um, there's a lot of like lighting and the detail is just really good. So you have to summon a tower. There are... let's see... Five towers. Um, to unlock a new tower, you need to get to a certain level. You can also heal towers during the game or build more towers. It just takes longer when you're um, in the game. To start a wave, you just go to the crystal and click that button. So now enemies are going to come from a bunch of different doors. And you can see they appear on the map. The point of the game is to defend the big blue crystal in the center of the map. If it dies, then you lose. There are quite a few different kinds of units. There are these, like, goblin-looking things. There are Dark Elves, which shoot a uh, bow and arrow. There's also like big trolls and even dragons. As you can see, my crystal is under attack. So this is a really fun game. It has really good detail and it has a lot of replay value since it has so many different um, difficulties and you can play as different characters. Each character has different kinds of towers too and different attack. You also can level up. Um, if you get a level you can upgrade different parts. You can uh, either upgrade like attack health, uh, cast rate, and speed. You also can upgrade towers. So my crystal was destroyed and after each game there's a few st statistics and go to, to the tavern. You also can pick up items in each level and sell them at the tavern. The next game we'll look at is Fruit Ninja THD. There's single player, multiplayer, and dojo where you can customize the blade and the background. And there's also open faint so you can post your scores online. So we'll go ahead and start single player. So there's classic zen mode and arcade mode. Classic mode, uh, there are bombs and there's a certain amount of time. And you actually, no, there's no time limit, but there's bombs. And if you hit a bomb, the game ends. Zen mode. 
Um, it's just fruit, and you have a certain amount of time to try and get as high a score as you can. Arcade mode, you have a certain amount of time, and there are certain power-ups you can get. So this game's graphics are pretty awesome. Uh, they've got really good shadows, and the fruit looks pretty realistic. It's a THD game, so it's Tegra optimized. The bananas that look a bit different are uh, different power-ups. And if you hit a bomb, you lose 10 seconds. So that's Fruit Ninja THD. The next game I'll look at is Galaxy on Fire 2. In this game, basically, you're a person in a ship, and you're trying to get back to your homeland after big, like, teleport thing happened <laughs> at the start. You got completely off track and fast forward in time. And now you have to mine and battle people to get home. So there's a bunch of dialogue and you can either skip it or uh, listen to it. I'll just skip it for this video. You can click that and it'll uh, make your ship go in a straight line. And you can see the uh, detail of this game is really good. I'll go, uh, you can action freeze it and look at the detail. And you can just see like the detail of the ship is just really high and it just looks really good. And also, like, the background. There's no, like, pixelation or anything that you can see. And the asteroids. And you can also take a picture of it if you want. So right now I'm following this guy. To shoot, you press this button and to move, you go here. And this is yeah, an objective button, so basically it brings you directly to the place you want. You can choose there. So here are some enemies. To shoot, you can either hold it down or you can double tap uh, the button and it'll keep firing until you tap it again and it'll stop. Your health is up there. And I'll just try and get this guy. There are a few control options. You can either go inverted or not, or you can uh, do tilt. I prefer inverted touch. So there we go. I killed one. So this game is free, but you can uh, buy stuff it, like weapons and things inside the game. So this is Galaxy on Fire 2 on Fire 2. I think it's a pretty awesome game. The next game we'll look at is Gorilla Bob. So there's a single player and multiplayer. The multiplayer you can play on local Wi-Fi or on the same device. I'll load up a game. So this is the THD version. Um, which means it's optimized for Tegra tablets. So this is a third person shooter. The point of the game is to get to the end of the level without dying. There are a few different modes. Um, there's also mercenary where you try and get 
as much money as you can and uh, use it to buy new weapons. At the end of each level there's a boss, usually. And uh, it has pretty good graphics. The characters are really detailed and the like the pavement looks really good and the explosions so that's Gorilla Bob THD this game is called Gun Bros so there's a bunch of worlds in each and in each world there's a a bunch of revolutions in each revolution there's a bunch of levels or waves I guess I'll just start with wave one. So the point of this game is to basically live as long as you can. There's an almost unlimited amount of uh, waves per level. Uh, the higher you get, the more money you get. And the more money you get, the more weapons you get and the better armor and everything. Taking a while to start. There we go. Huh. There we go. Now it's working. Not sure why it was being slow. So you can have two weapons. There's a switch weapon button right here. I don't have any other weapon right now, but you can shoot these to make them explode and kill everything around it. You have a little like bro, I guess there. <laughs> um, he dies once in a while. He's not very smart, but he just uh, responds after every uh, wave. So that's Gun Bros. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out part 3 up there. This is Aaron from AnythingArcos.com. Thank you, bye.